welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna, also known as e Hats Fit, and today I'm coming at you with an updated Owl Yoga Bottoms collection review. It's been almost a year since I shared my whole Owl Yoga collection with you guys, and it seems like you guys like that. Over the last year, I've accumulated quite a number of leggings and across a variety of different styles and colors, so I wanted to share those with you along with my thoughts. Quick little disclaimer, I do get a lot of these leggings gifted from Aloe Yoga, who so kindly help to sponsor some of the challenges that I host over on Instagram. If you aren't familiar with those, head over to my Instagram so that you can participate in my next Aloe Yoga challenge and potentially win a Aloe Yoga gift card as well as a six month subscription to Aloe Moves. So for today's review, I have broken down all my leggings and shorts into five categories by material. So I haven't really seen anyone else do this and I think it's actually the most helpful because depending on what material the leggings are made of, the feel, the fit, the sizing can really differ. So the first category I have are airbrush, which is kind of Aloe Yoga's most signature material. Then we have airlift, Aloe Soft, Vapor, and then I have a miscellaneous category which also includes some sweatpants, so stay tuned for those. In terms of sizing, I'm 167 centimeters tall, which is about 5'6", and I'm about 63 kilograms, which I think is like 138 pounds or something. I usually get mostly everything in a size small, but I do size up to an M in some things. I'll also post a chart here of what sizes I wear at other yoga slash activewear brands in case that is helpful for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the first category is airbrush and like I said, I think this is Aloe's most commonly used material. So first up, we have the very simple airbrush leggings. This is in the color bronze, which I got probably almost a year ago, I wanna say. They are made 81% of polyester and 19% spandex and I would say it has more of like a cottony feel compared to the airlifts and the vapor leggings which have a little bit more of like a shiny sleek sweat wicking material. So you can kind of see here there's not much shine there. In anything that's airbrush, I typically get a size small and it works great. It is a little bit compressive but not uncomfortable and it definitely doesn't dig in. There are no um, seams up here at the waistband, so you don't really have this like digging in effect there, and it's very like soft and gentle, so um, very comfortable on your waistline. And I wear this to work out, to do yoga in, to go on hikes, whatever, but um, because the material is a little bit less sweat wicking, I would say if you're someone that's really worried about sweat marks, um, a light color in this material might not be the best for your heavy workout days. I don't mind so much, so sometimes when I do like a heavy legs day or something, I do get like sweat marks around here, but it's not a big deal to me. Um, I like these leggings regardless. They are a little bit kind of like warm for the winter, um, but I always get the super high waist ones and the full length ones because uh, I just think that's the most flattering for my body type. The second leggings that I have in the airbrush material are the Motto leggings, which are another like classic aloe signature legging. I shared this last year as well, and I have three pairs of leggings in this design. Unfortunately, I don't actually wear them much because although they're super fashion and cute, these ridges do kind of um, get in my way when I'm working out sometimes. So like if I'm doing any like kneeling exercises, it can bother my knees a little bit. And also just because of all the extra ridging, it takes like 0.1% extra work to get them off and on. So just for that reason, I really don't wear them that much. But I do think they're super cute um, and I love the look of them. The fit is very similar to the airbrush leggings. It is a little bit compressive, a little bit warm. Again, maybe wouldn't choose a light color if you're worried about sweat marks. The third leggings I have in this material are the dash leggings, which basically just have one long dash down the back. I think this design is so cute because it elongates the legs from the back. But other than that dash, it's completely the same from the airbrush leggings in terms of fit and feel but this is one of my favorite leggings. The one thing about the airbrush leggings I'm noticing, it seems to collect lint easily, and that's even more noticeable on my black shorts, which we'll get into next. So I have two shorts in this material. The first one is the airbrush biker shorts. Uh, the inseam is I think around six or seven inches, and they're the exact same fit and feel again as the airbrush leggings, um, except obviously that they're shorter. 
there is a seam here, but I don't have too much of an issue of it digging into my thigh. The only thing is in general, I don't really love how biker shorts look on me. I just feel kind of sausagey. I don't know. That's just me. And I prefer shorts that are shorter to just like let my whole leg breathe if I'm trying to do that. But the short shorts that Aloe have are too short to wear out in public. So that's why I have a couple of the biker shorts so that if I'm going hiking in the summer or something, I have some good alternatives to like keep my legs cool without flashing my butt cheeks to the entire world. You know what I mean? So I keep these. I got it in the black so that they're like a good staple piece as well. I like them. I don't wear them a ton for like fashion purposes, but they're functional. And then the last pair of shorts I have from the airbrush category are these Aura shorts. These are super, super short. I think they're like one and a half to two inch seam. So my thighs are like a little bit larger than the rest of my legs, obviously. <laughs> but I feel like I have a little bit large thighs. And so because of that, these do roll up sometimes. And then when that happens, it reveals the bottom of your butt cheeks. So I never wear these outside, but I do love them for working out in, for you doing yoga at home, for lounging in at home, super comfortable. The one difference with these Aura shorts is that the waistband here is ribbed. So it's a lot more like stretchy and comfortable in my opinion than the airbrush leggings. I love anything ribbed, like whether it be for bras or for leggings or for just the waistband, I love it if it's ribbed. It just gives you a little bit more give and stretch and comfort, I think. So I really like these Aura shorts. Next, let's move on to the airlift leggings. I think that these are like everyone's favorite. These are the airlift capris and like I mentioned to you earlier, they're a little bit more like sweat wicking than the airbrush material. 84% polyester and 16% spandex. So it has a little bit less spandex. I don't really understand really what that means. This one, I do size up in. Anything that is airlift material, I size up in. The material feels a little bit thinner and I've had more see-through issues with the airlift material than I have had with the airbrush material. And even if it weren't for the see-through issues, I think um, airlifts are worth sizing up in just because this size fits me perfectly. And like I said, because the material is a little bit thinner, it feels a little bit cooler as well. So I prefer airlift material to airbrush when working out and knowing that I'm gonna sweat because it feels cooler and it's a little bit more sweat wicking so you don't have as big of an issue with sweat marks. Like I said, I generally prefer the longer ones, but I got these in the 7 8 length. I think mostly because the airlifts are really expensive and the 7 8 length does help to cut a little bit of that cost. Yeah, I've had these for over a year I think and I haven't had any issues with them. Love them. Would recommend them. The second leggings I have in the airlift material are these fitness capris. So these are a little bit shorter than the 7 8 length leggings, which I don't love for me. I think if you're a little bit shorter, then maybe these will be the perfect length for you, but I don't really like things that cut me off mid-calf. I just don't think it's as flattering for my legs. I wear them mostly to work out in. This one has this band at the waistband that has aloe written across it. It doesn't add any additional like compression necessarily, but the material does go through to the inside as well. So if you're like me and have some, you know, natural rolls around your belly area, then when you're sitting, the rolls do tend to kind of accumulate over this band, but still within the top part of these leggings, if that makes sense. Basically, it just gives your rolls somewhere to sit, which I don't feel is very comfortable but while I'm working out, it's not really much of an issue. So basically I would say these leggings, I wouldn't wear for lounging in ever, but for working out, they're pretty practical. And the last pair of leggings I have in the airlift material are these four pocket utility leggings. These ones are full length, so I like that. This one, actually the material is a little bit thicker, I feel, than the regular airlifts, but I think it's because there's just more fabric because you have four pockets. So first you have some pockets here and then you have pockets like down the side as well here the butt is still only one layer but i do feel like these ones fit a little bit larger than the other airlifts the waistband is also thinner only about one inch here the fabric here definitely feels thicker than on the regular airlifts this one feels like there's actually a layer of like rubber in there whereas these just feel like it's just the two layers of this airlift material folded over so 
there's a little bit more, I guess, compression there, but I don't feel that it has any issues with digging in on the waistband at all. It's very soft and gentle. Again, maybe it's because I sized up to a medium, but I do feel it's like a smidge big around like this area. On the butt, you have this contouring effect like that, which I think is cute. I mean, honestly, who doesn't love pockets in their leggings? If you're going for a run, pockets are so convenient. If you're gonna put your phone in your pocket and you're gonna be running, for example, you might want a little bit more compression. So in the four pocket utility leggings, because there is more material because of the pocket, get your regular size, especially if you're planning to run around or walk around with stuff in your pockets because it might uh, weigh the leggings down. Third is my favorite category of aloe leggings. They are the aloe soft material. And I don't care if it's summer or winter, I will always love this material, even though it is a little bit velvety. The first leggings that I wanna show you, which I again have three pairs of, is the aloe soft lounge leggings. These are my favorite. The waistline here is ribbed, so you got plenty of give, plenty of comfort, super nice, and absolutely no digging in on the waistband really really comfortable the material here is a velvety soft material which i just love and then the bottom is again this ribbed material and this is a full length legging this is my go-to if i'm ever getting on an airplane if i'm ever just like doing some slow yoga if it's ever cold if i'm just lounging on my couch i find that aloe soft has the least amount of see-through issues and the most amount of comfort. My point is I would get your regular size. I get a size small in everything that's aloe soft. I just, I can't tell you enough how much I love these lounge leggings. One pair of leggings that looks similar to the lounge leggings but isn't is the highlight legging. This is a newer design. So overall, it's pretty similar. It's the same length, but the waistband is not ribbed. What does this mean? It means it's a little bit more compressive on the waist area, and actually I found better for working out in. There also isn't that little ribbed section on the bottom, so it's just pure aloe soft material from top to bottom, and then the back is pretty much the same in terms of the shape as well. This one is the new honeydew color, which I love. It's so cute. What I found was that this one was better for working out in than the lounge leggings were because it just held things in a little bit better, especially if you're doing something a little bit more high intensity. And yes, I do wear aloe soft on high intensity days. Like I don't care that they're warm. I'll still wear them. Next, I think this is one of aloe's like og legging it's like their breakout legging i think it's the goddess legging so this one's interesting you got the aloe soft material basically on the thigh area and then from the thigh down it's ruched on the inside of the leg and then they're super long so basically on me if i wore them like all stretched out the bottom of the leggings would come over my heel and onto my foot but i can also just scrunch them up so that they don't go past my heel which isn't a problem at all one concern that I had with this look is that I thought it would give the same kind of vibe as like a biker short because it does cut you off here. But that's why I chose this one that has the same color top and bottom. There are a number of goddess leggings that um, are different colors, which I think would exacerbate that effect. But if you're comfortable and feel confident in biker shorts, then I don't think it's a problem at all. So this one's also ripped at the top. The back is pretty much the same. These ones are super, super comfortable. These ones, like when I was working at home in December um, and it was cold in my house and I was just like, I didn't need to be wearing any particular type of clothing. I pretty much lived in these leggings like the entire month. I love those. And the last pair of full length leggings I have in the aloe soft material are these Sheila leggings. I love these. These are 7 8 length. And the difference obviously is the pattern. So you just have a few stripes here and with each stripe you do have a seam which does like cut in a little bit into your skin. It's like a pretty thick seam. It doesn't bother me, but if you're really, really sensitive to having any sort of like feeling of lines across your legs, then that's something to take note of. The waistband here is ribbed once again. They are shorter. They're super cute. I think that these lines are really flattering. And I love this color combo. There's a few more color combos still left on the website. If you're able to, get your hands on a pair of these. These are great for working out in, especially because they're a little bit shorter. So 
give your ankles a little bit more room to breathe. And then the last thing I have in Aloe Soft are the Aura Shorts. Once again, they're very similar to the Airbrush ones. They're ribbed up here and then one and a half to two inch inseam. So again, super short. I don't really see too big of a difference in terms of like the rolling up issue. I think both of them roll up pretty much equally, but the material is just a lot softer on this one. I prefer this one. I think just because the material is softer, it's a little bit more gentle on the skin. So yeah, that's a favorite of mine as well. The fourth category and my least favorite category is the vapor leggings. Pretty much all of the leggings that they come out with that have like designs or prints on them seem to be in this vapor material. So the ones that I have are the pink camo and the marina glitter. Neither of these patterns were available in any other material, which is why I got it. Um, I also wanted to try it out to see if I liked it. Moral of the story is I don't like the vapor material. 73% nylon and 27% lycra spandex. I don't know what it is. The thing I hate most about it is that it digs in at the waistband here. Like, I think there's a little bit less stretch and give on it, but the thinness of the material is kind of similar to the airlift. I think it's just more like elasticy, so it like bounces into you more. So if you're really sensitive to having like rolls above your waistline, like this is not for you. The thing is like the design is so cute, so that's what makes it difficult. There's no contouring effect on the back seam. This is the full length one. I mean, I still do wear it to work out and I just don't feel as comfortable or confident in it, but the design is cute. And then the biker shorts, in marina blue this one like is even worse to be honest so if you look at the inside of the leggings there is no seam at the top but the biker shorts there's a seam up here on the inside which really digs in the color is super cute though it's like um shiny but i don't like how it feels or looks on the waistband whatsoever i still keep it because i think it looks really cute with the glitter bra but Mm. On the leggings, I got a medium and on the shorts, I got a small. They both fit me fine except for the digging in. But I think that no matter what size I get, they will dig in. It's just that kind of material. All right, the last category. All the miscellaneous stuff. We got a number of things in here. Let me start off with the leggings. These are the high waist micro waffle low key leggings. And it's super cute. It has this basically micro waffling material which I thought was really cute and I thought would be comfortable. They're stretchy, but they have no like give. You know when you're wearing jeans, like the jeans don't move with you, it kind of like restricts you from the movement because it sticks to you. It's not as bad as jeans obviously, but it has a little bit of that effect. So I would say it's not so good for moving. I have worn them for yoga, but it's like not super comfortable. And I've also worn them for hiking, which was better. The other thing I don't like though is that once again, they have the seam on the inside right at the waistband, which gives you that digging in effect. I have also heard other people say that they returned these because they weren't so much for yoga or moving in, but they're nice for lounging. I have heard amazing things about the sweatpants that are in the same material. I don't have them, but I heard they're super comfortable. The only thing for me though is like if you might be like getting on your knees or something like this is for sure gonna leave a print on your knees or like anywhere that you put pressure on because it has this like very fine and detailed micro waffling print on it but i keep them because they be cute so next i have two pairs of shorts and two pairs of sweatpants to finish it off the first pair of shorts are the ambiance shorts in this highlighter color i love this for when i really need like a pick me up and like a reminder to get myself on my mat to work out in but basically you have this mesh layer on top which covers the spandex shorts that are underneath these shorts that are underneath are really short i think they're like one and a half inch seam so they do roll up a lot but the good thing is you have this mesh to kind of cover it up so you're not flashing anyone the other good thing is that on the inner spandex portion there is a tiny little pocket for you to put any like change in um, or your key or something this one I get a size small I have two of them I don't wear them a ton they're like not really my favorite because the spandex underneath does roll up a lot more than the aura shorts but I think that they are a good alternative to a short short that you can wear out like I can go running in this outside because um, because of the mesh covering is gonna keep me protected you know 
So I like those. And, oh, my favorite pair of shorts from Allo, I have three of these and I could honestly buy more, are the Days shorts. So these are in the Allo Lux material. I wish I had more stuff in this material so that I could have created a whole section on it for you guys. But it is the softest, most lounge-worthy material. This is my favorite go-to for like hanging out on the weekends in. It's so comfortable. You can't wear them out though. And I have to be careful when I'm taking pictures for Instagram in these as well because because they're flimsy, like if I'm upside down, they will kind of just like flop over and expose my entire butt. So they're not the most like practical from that perspective, but they are probably my most, most, most worn. Like if I come home from work, but I don't want to like get in my pajamas yet, I'm going to be in these. If I'm filming a video, but the bottom half of me is not showing, I'm wearing these. If I'm working at home, I'm wearing these. Like I'm always wearing these. You have to get your hands on these. They're shorts, so they're also not as expensive as leggings. And I promise you, you will get so much wear out of them because you will want to live in them. You could even sleep in them, I think. They have long versions of these as well but Melini on instagram mentioned that they are see-through you can see my hand through it you know what i mean if you're just wearing them at home like why not i guess i just haven't gotten them and last but not least my two sweatpants which i love i love these both a lot so these are the muse sweatpants they're ribbed the inside is just the same material as the outside they're comfy, they're a little bit more like heavy. They're so good for lounging in. I've also traveled in these. The matching top is like this crop top sweatshirt, which I didn't get because I saw myself wearing these like on the plane and stuff, but I get really cold on the plane. So I don't really want my midriff to be like showing or there to be any like draft to be coming in from that little um, exposed section. So I didn't get it, but my sister is very petite and I got her the full set in navy and it covers her perfectly and she does wear it on the plane and looks super cute and cozy in them. So I, I just, I can't recommend these enough. I love these. I love these so much. And like, it's really hard for me to say which I love more, these Muse sweats or the Accolade sweats. I think I want to say I wear the Accolade sweats more. If I'm going out, I'll wear the Muse sweats more. I don't know. I wear them both a lot. But the thing about the Accolade sweats is that the inside is their tri-blend fleece material, I think. It's such a soft, wonderful fleece material that also keeps you warm. So I'm obsessed with their tri-blend fleece. But these are really comfortable. They're more on the oversized side. And the waistband is like kind of like school tracksuit sweatpant vibes, you know, with this. I thought that this kind of emblem looked a little cheap. Like it's like 3D and plastic. I don't love that, but it's whatevs. And on the bottom, it cinches in. Oh, another thing I like is that the drawstring is on the inside. So when you're wearing it, you can't see it, but you can adjust it to your needs. So for both of these sweatpants, I have a size small. Honestly, on the Accolade sweats, I think you could size down. I didn't, but you probably could. Anyways, that is it for this video. We covered a lot of material, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I love helping you guys make your shopping decisions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Give me a big thumbs up if you would like to see me do my Aloe Yoga bras and tops collection review, and I will be happy to do that for you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.